The House of Targ is a pinball arcade uh, music venue. It's a classic arcade. Uh, it's also a music venue, um, and it's a pierogi house. The House of Targ is an expression of two individuals on a drunken evening. I thought it was a crazy concept when I first heard about it. it. Pierogies and pinball in the basement was just wild. I, th I was like, I didn't even, I was just blown away. When I first heard that Targ was opening up across the street, I was excited because I was already familiar with these guys because before they had this venue on Bank Street, they kind of had an unofficial venue, uh, basically in, in a backyard garage kind of very cool rock and roll club kind of scenario. Maybe 15 years ago, Paul started it up as uh, the Meat Locker, which was a place for him to record bands and uh, to house bands. My friend Mark and I were uh, throwing shows at, at an old recording studio that, that we were running up on Main Street. We used to uh, house sort of a, a once a month show and at the shows, uh, we would, we would showcase the bands that practice there and we would bring in bands from out of town. And it just, as those shows got busier uh, and as more people came out and as more kind of attention was being brought to it, uh, we pretty much had to either stop doing them at a certain point because there was too many people coming and there was too much kind of attention, you know, and we were doing this on a totally kind of independent uh, kind of DIY level. We kind of reevaluated and we kind of looked and, and look to expand and so House of Target as we know it now is kind of um, just what we had done but just grown to a, our larger scale where we've been able to get a liquor license and, and do food and sort of make it open to the public and, and create a sort of a venue that we can sort of create a buzz in the city and sort of develop a scene that we, we know exists and that we've been part of. The genre music House of Target tracks the mo most, I think, is 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 uh, sort of like heavy rock, punk rock. Uh, I mean. There's no, there's no hiding that everybody that works here and everybody involved is, is of that culture. But we're not close to uh, having all different styles. We've done all different types of styles from country. We've done hip hop, we've done, uh, we've done singer, songwriter, folk, uh, all different styles. We're, we're, we're more interested in, in sort of uh, showcasing bands that are, are sort of dedicated to their craft and kind of uh, show that they're that, that they're really pushing what they believe in, um, and that's sort of the culture that we want here. But we want to support our community in any way that we can, um, so that people can be creative and have a place to do things and have a uh, uh, something to, to believe in. When sometimes when you don't have something to believe in, just to know that people around you care about that kind of thing. I think it's become like the cool place to play in Ottawa and it's, it's very quickly gaining a reputation for out of town indie bands and, and performers that this is the place they want to come when they come into Ottawa now. Uh, the name comes from uh, uh, an arcade game that we have called, called Targ. It's the first game that sort of infected all of us with the sort of addiction of pinball and arcades and sort of it's the game that started it all. Uh, a friend of mine dropped off this game that he had at an old uh, recording studio that I, that I was running and people started playing it. Uh, we put it on quarters, people liked it. That turned in, one machine turned into another machine, turned into more machines, turned into pinball machines, turned into learning how to fix them, turned into people playing them at shows that were kind of underground shows at the old place. You walk in and when you see that big row of pinball machines and those old arcade games. And 
it's it's the first time I had played a stand up arcade game in in years. I couldn't remember the last time I did. Most of my my arcade experience actually took place in Canada at a place called Don Koharski's, which uh, I, I remember as being a kid there, and I remember going and playing games and running around, running crazy, and 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 sort of having that ar arcade experience that I. They spoke about where it's, it's the wide eyes, sort of flashing lights, almost like a casino type thing. Pinball and, and arcade games are really uh, social, I think. I, so that was really good for me as a kid because I could go and play games with my friends. And I remember some of the games that we have here uh, are direct games uh, that we've chosen uh, to put in here because they're games that we remember playing as a kid. So I think that kind of experience uh, We've taken the games that we've really enjoyed playing and classic games that we, uh, uh, and sort of house them in here so to create that experience for, for a new generation. And one of the things here is that kids show up sometimes and their eyes just like light up because uh, they've never seen something like this before or this many games in, in one spot. Uh, they're used to having you know, their game on TV at home. Uh, so that kind of, we really wanted to have this place that's magical, that has this kind of Las Vegas feel to it, but that's also very uh, family oriented and very friendly. It's not about gambling or about uh, anything like that. It's about just come in and play games with your friends and, uh, you know, uh, compete a little bit, have a nice time. Patrick, your pierogies are ready. The question that we get asked a lot about why did we, why we chose pierogies. When we went to the bank at one point and said, oh, we'd like a, a loan, which of course they didn't give us, but uh, the idea was, oh, we're going to make pierogies. Uh, and they said, you know, that's really stupid. You guys, no, you need to do chicken wings and you know, you need to do what everybody else is doing. One of the things there was just to do something different and something interesting. I'm half Ukrainian, so uh, I've been around pierogies before in my life. I know that they're uh, not an expensive thing to make uh, as far as like what you're putting into them. It takes a lot of uh, man hours to make them. Uh, but that's also another really social kind of fun thing that uh, the people that work here get to do together. Like they spend hours and hours together <laughs> making pierogies, which creates a, a pretty nice bond between people, I think. And it's an amazing food. It's uh, uh, what they've done with it here in the kitchen is uh, miles above what my grandmother ever would have done. Uh, and I think she'd be super proud. I think House of Targ in a lot of ways has made old Ottawa South cool again. It's like there's a lot of great businesses around here. The Mayfair right beside us, for example, is, is a really unique, cool business. And um, Stella Luna, the gelato place down the street, like she's got lineups all the time. You know, obviously there's, there's some really good pubs in this neighborhood, so on and so forth. Um, but House of Targ just seemed to tie that all together. And I think it brought in a lot of people from Ottawa who don't live in this area, who just would never even think of coming to this part of Ottawa for any reason. I've even seen people kind of talking about like triple billing it and like going to Quinn's for a drink, coming to the movie, and then going to play pinball. So when people get used to a community having a number of cool little things like that, you kind of get a reputation, you get your, your name on the map of this is somewhere we wanna go on a Friday night or whatever. The fact that it's coming up on our one year anniversary, it's kind of surreal, actually. It's a bit surprising. I, I've shaken my head a few times like, wow, it's been a year. Like, uh... At the end of a night, the room is empty and I just look at the room that's full of games and it's been cleaned and put back together and ready for the next day. And it's just like, wow, like how proud are you that, uh, that, we're, that we actually did this and that, and that it's not just that we did it, but it's sustainable and it's, it just keeps growing, which is uh, just wonderful. I want us to be that, that B movie that you always want to go back and see. Kind of like the Rocky Horror Picture Show always gets played. It's loved by people. It's never been huge. It'll never be huge, but everybody knows it. It's like the Ramones. 
their lungs were never huge during their time, and they're not all that huge now after their time, but certainly there are much more exposure and, and knowledge now. When, when House of Targ passes on, it's just the t-shirts that are left. We, I hope to have that type of, of uh, reverberation.